There it is. This is. For our next budding business story, we head to Santa Cruz to Trick or Treat Studios, a company that's putting fear and fun back into buying a mask. We specialize in vintage retro characters, both original designs and licensed designs. Chris Zephro, founder and owner of Trick or Treat Studios, followed a childhood passion starting the company. Growing up, my entire life, I was always into masks. I've always been collecting them ever since I was a kid. I just think they're a, a lot of fun to put on and turn into something else. <sighs> And that's the shock monster. <laughs> this is our corporate office and our central warehouse. We bring through about 50 to 60 plus thousand masks through here a year and cross stock them to our customers all across the world. As business grew, so did the product line, including one mask in particular that has fans going wild. Our biggest mask to date, one of our greatest licenses that we're most proud of from Universal Studios. This is the Halloween 2 mask worn by probably the most famous serial killer ever uh, caught on film. And you can see every detail in this mask that was in the film mask is here. According to Zephro, it's details like those, as well as design and quality, that are the secrets to success. These masks are 100% handmade from sculpting to molding to casting to painting. They literally are, you know, a, pieces of art. <laughs> The artistic process starts with one of Trick or Treat's designers, like Eric Lubati. It's absolutely an art form. Uh, it incorporates all of the classic fine art, sculpture, painting, drawing, uh, there's even dentistry. A lot of people think it just, we pump it out overnight, but that's not the case. It's the sculpture alone can take you 20 hours. You can't do this if you don't love it. And what Lubati loves most, when people wear his work. When it comes to life is when the person puts it on and gives it a personality. That's the reward. Whether you wear it or display it, Zephyr's reward comes from knowing his masks are a cut above the rest. Well, I've never shipped a mask that I wouldn't have in my own collection, so every mask I ship out, I'm, I'm really proud of. Uh -huh. 